Hi guys, welcome to and welcome back. I'm So Veronica and I'm so ready to show you guys what's coming up on this channel. Stay tuned. Go. Okay, so we are at Joann's. Look at the fit, look at the fit. Let's go in here and get some fabric. I'm talking about look at the fit as if y'all have not seen these pants before. This outfit is old as I don't know what. The only thing new is the shoes. So upon my editing of this video, that's when I discovered that they were playing music. So I did all this talking. Not to say, you know, I love to do voiceovers. So now that I finally learned how to do them, um, I don't mind. But I didn't realize that they were playing music when I first edited this. So I'm just like showing you guys that I was unaware of the sale. So I was like turning down fabric until I really discovered like, wait a minute, this stuff is on sale. That's when I went back and I got the fabric that caught my eye initially. But right here, I'm just like, oh no, honey. Oh no, this is too much. This is too expensive. But that butterfly pattern right there, y'all, that was really cute. It was different. It made me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Okay, guys, so as I get more familiar with Joann's, I had a shirt that was made out of that. Yes. The little thing that goes on my wrist, the pin cushion, that's what I made um, that out of, the shirt that I had. Anyway, so now we have our earth tone colors. Um, and I found the mesh. If you've been following my channel, then you know that I was looking for mesh, the, my same skin tone color. Um, you'll see that in the video coming up. But um, I'm also understanding more about the sale. I'm understanding where they put the um, sale information that is on the very end of the aisle. So that's helpful that I know that now, boom, bam, there it is. So now I know that everything that's in this column is not, you know, the price that's that's labeled on there. So now I'm looking at it with more excitement because I'm like, okay, so this isn't actually... $13.99 per yard. Now, I also found that it takes about, uh, I want to say two yards of fabric for me. This is the one, y'all. When I seen that, those red roses with the green and the black, because, you know, black is forgiving. So it like kind of camouflages stuff. Um, but the flowers are very feminine. And the red roses, honey. Yes, honey. Anyway. So what are we doing here? Okay, so I think this is the mesh. Yeah, this is where I found the mesh. And I'm not even sure if it's called mesh. It might have a whole different name. But I looked and flipped it. $17.99. That one I think is closest to my skin color. Or maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's the one next to it. The darker one. Which is fine. Okay. So this is me. You know what I'm saying? Proud of my little fabric that I, that I hunted. I hunt, hunted it and conquered it, but I'm always looking for something better. Okay. So I found something that kind of looks like a, a designer fabric. I would love to, if Joann's just had like imitation, uh, you know what I'm saying? Designer fabric. I would totally buy it, make a dress out of it and wear it as though it were the real thing. But I get it, Gucci. I get it, Louis. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want people out here repping y'all's pattern unless they, you got to, what they say, you got to pay to play. So now I'm just, I'm, I've seen this particular pattern on social media. Somebody made a dress out of that floral and I thought they had hand stitched all the flowers to it. Come to find out they went to Joann's and bought the flowers that came with, but I'm not knocking nobody's hustle y'all. That's the prices of those particular patterns y'all see the shimmer i'm thinking a jumpsuit even though i'm not a jumpsuit girl i'm not that's gorgeous anyway so i'm not here for no floral you know sheer nothing i'm i'm not but i'm just looking because for some reason i may have skipped over i did skip over this in previous times so now i'm just like woo sign and walking through Joann's until I find fabric that's like, that's flattering, forgiving, and inspiring to motivate. Because that previous fabric, I found out thanks to one of my subscribers, Trisha, thank you. Um, 
she kind of just mentioned that, you know, hey, you did a good job with that woven fabric. And as soon as I found out that that's what that was, wovens, you know, non-stretchy, I was wondering because during the making of this particular video, before I found out it was called wovens, I went over there and I looked at them things and I was like, you know what, what is this for? Is this even for, you know what I'm saying, like regular dresses. I feel like it's more for like the hospital scrubs. That's the material that is given. I mean, I know I was turning cartwheels, you know, the first two dresses I made with it, it has a little shimmer and everything, but for me, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Them, them wovens, I think woven material is like biblical. I think they was wearing wovens back then. I don't know. So here I'm trying to make sense of the clearance section, okay? Um, I would like a stretchy knit, as you guys know. Um, I love those earth tone colors that are there. I actually end up getting this one. So I noticed that it says $16.99 for this one per yard. Um, I was like, okay, is that the clearance price? You know, so then I'm like, wait a minute. If the clearance price was on the end of the aisle, you know, in previous times, and that has to be the case with the clearance section too. So I'm going back and I'm looking, I'm searching for a sign um, because I definitely don't want to pay $16.99 per yard. So looking at my receipt, I discovered that both of my um, purchases were 70% off. So clearance, 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 guys. What have we learned from this? Clearance, go straight to the clearance section. Now, last time I showed you guys the zipper section at Joann's, I didn't realize that if you go right behind that, you know what I'm saying? Go right around that corner. There's the more advanced zippers. Those are zippers for like, uh, I want to say the more expensive garments. You know what I'm saying? The zippers I purchased were like for everyday use, you know, but these are like special occasion zippers. So that's something to take into consideration. So last time I did a video, um, looking at this particular section of the fabric, I left out the blacks, the purples, the blues. Like, I didn't even think to just turn the camera all the way to the end of the owl. So I was very upset with myself about that. Well, not very upset, but I was like, what was I thinking? So I wanted to make sure that I had that on camera. Although, like I said, I'm going to stay away from this section because this is the wovens, okay? And I wish I knew where it said that at. Maybe it says it on the individual, uh, what are these things called? Uh, panels of fabric? I don't know. It's like I don't even know where to look to find out this information. But um, yeah, all these are $6.99 <clears throat> per yard. Do I really need to keep saying per yard or do we all know per yard? I mean, because I guess like before I started sewing, I would have thought the whole thing was $6.99. That's just, that's what I was on. Okay, so I just kind of like stopped the video just to get a good idea of what fabric that is. Now that says quilters, quilting showcase fabrics. So I guess this is what you make quilts out of. And I'm sitting up here trying to make a dress out of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all put me on the prayer list. But um, so now we are in the section where you make the, mm, I can't even pronounce that word, M muslims. Anyway, so this is cute. Okay, so I have never bought anything on clearance. So I'm not sure if that's the clearance price that's on there or is it going to be marked down even more? How much is that per yard? I think it's 70% off of this price. So it's 509 Oh, yes, honey. Yes. I'll take three yards of that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take two yards of this. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. And I'm just going to get this processed. But again, I'm not yeah. going to get you. Not I wouldn't good. violate you like that. <laughs> I'll even give you the YouTube channel, honey, so you can check it out if you don't believe me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to break down our conversation, but off camera so that the young lady doesn't have any complications on the job. Right. 
So I inquired, I said, well, can you tell me the difference between knits and double knits? And she said, well, the only difference that she's aware of is that the double knits feel a little softer. So she says it's like a jersey fabric. And I told her, I said, well, I thought the jersey fabric would be what they make jerseys out of, you know, basketball jerseys. So then she chuckles and she says, well, I see how you could have come up with that. And so um, she says, but no, uh, jersey fabric is like what they make t-shirts out of, really soft, you know, t-shirts. So I learned that as well today. I still keep forgetting to inquire about scuba fabric, okay? Next time I go to Joanne's, I'm going to find out where the scuba fabric is um, and also, what else? Jeez Louise. The structured knit. Okay. Um, and this one, I got three yards of this because this was the one that was on clearance, right? So it's like, clearly you want more of the one that's on clearance. Um, well, I would. So also the Ponte, the Ponte fabric is something that I'm inquiring about as well, because I believe that between the Ponte, the double knit and the structured knit, I'm going to find something that I absolutely love the dress quality of. And I won't know it until I, you know, have like little sample dresses made of each of those fabrics. Um, the scuba, I think that's what they do the yoga pants with. I think. Um, because it's like water resistant, which would be like sweat resistant. I believe with the name scuba deep diving, uh, diver's suit, you know, anyway, scuba diver. But anyway, so this is our ticket where it shows 70% off of both fabrics. Okay. And so, um, yeah, once we get to the point where we, uh, we're familiar with exactly what fabric works for us, we can get over it. That's like the number one hurdle right there. Because that last dress, when I was trying to pull it up over my hips, and it was like, uh-uh. It was like, no. It was like, enough is enough. You know, um, yes, it's the measurements. The measurements are off. But it's also the fabric not having no give. Who wears that constantly? You want comfort. Anyway, y'all. Okay, so this is the fabric that was on clearance, right? I just want to show y'all, and I want to make a mental note for myself because, hold on. So this is the, the next dress pattern that I'm going to try to make. I did not make this, okay? Um, so I'm just showing you guys, and for again, for myself, because I don't want to buy fabric that I don't need, right? So it goes all the way down to my feet. That right there was already enough for a dress. And this is three yards. So I'm feeling like all I need to, to start asking for is two yards, two yards of fabric. But I didn't, I wasn't mindful of that when I was ordering this, not ordering it, but asking for it. I guess that's ordering it. So, I wasn't mindful of that, so I was just like eyeballing it. I was like, uh, since this was more expensive, I was like, yeah, just give me um, two of that and give me three of the clearance one. But either way, y'all, this is going to be gorgeous. I say that all the time, don't I? But I really love this floral red and black and... I could do some things with this, y'all. I could do some things with this. And this is a knit. I got the details, honey. I got the, the deets on fabric. It was a um a girl in, working in there that I actually felt comfortable with communicating with and talking to and asking questions. I didn't feel like I was um, embarrassing myself or... You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel, I felt like I was talking to my, my daughter. I was like, hey, can you explain this knit 
Can you explain that? Anyway, so I need to um, just ask for two yards from here on out. So again, y'all can be looking forward to me. Um, I shouldn't have set that up there. Y'all can look forward to me taking this dress apart. We're going to take this dress apart. And this is a so whatever that is anyway but when you get it from the thrift store you got to clean it right I got it from the from the 79 cent is what it cost me anyway so we got the we're gonna take this apart and we're going to make a pattern after this but we're just gonna expand it obviously since it doesn't fit okay so now we are headed to get some paper to make this pattern with because we can't use the last pattern because that's going to be for specific dresses. So now we are at Dollar Tree. Now, again, when you get the paper from... No, I don't wear makeup when I go to work. I don't. I know. But when you get the paper from Walmart, it's $0.44 cent each. Okay? But when you get it from Dollar Tree, it's 2 for a dollar. So we are, we are, you know what I'm saying, by a couple cents... Okay, we. I'm doing the math. Carry the two, divide the four. So I decided to go ahead and get multiple so that, you know, I can have that color factor in there so that <clears throat> instead of me marking the things that are in the pattern pouch, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have a pattern pouch. That's where I store my patterns. So now I just have the colors. So I'll be like, okay, the yellow colors go with the pants, the pant pattern or the short pattern. The red go with the top pattern, the bodice, and so on and so forth. I thought it I thought it was a good idea at the time. I mean, I'm starting to question all of my ideals, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Okay, we're gonna keep going, moving forward. You don't know it till you sew it. Learn from your mistakes, create and adjust, keep something under the needle, y'all. And I know y'all probably wondering, like, when is she gonna use those uh that Jean Dim is coming, y'all. Stay tuned.